You know, I think the Coppell Independent School District has been one of the high performing school districts in the state of Texas uh, since its inception. Um, first high school in the 60s, we just celebrated several years ago uh, our 50th anniversary of the, of the district. Uh, and so Coppell has always been a high performing district. Uh, in our 2003 uh, strategic plan, I think we did a great job, made a lot of progress in making the district better uh, in the current system and, and really I think coming a, a long way. Uh, you think about the dual credit program and the other things that have happened since that first plan in 2003 and we're really excited about the progress that we've made. Uh, unfortunately, no matter what we have done, uh, the, uh, it seems like we can't ever meet the expectations of the greater society in terms of preparing our kids. Uh, in Coppell, we're very successful uh, in the system. If you compare us to other school districts in the state, very successful. But yet our graduates, and I don't mean just specifically Coppell graduates, but the graduates across the state and the United States uh, in larger numbers are failing to meet the expectations of the communities that they serve. Uh, that's a factor of the fact that you know our present system uh, created in a uh, hundred years ago uh, was set up to sort and rank kids and only about 10 percent of those kids would go on to higher education and the jobs that, uh, that they filled. The rest of them would, a bunch of them would graduate from high school and then they'd go straight into the workforce and then a bunch, maybe 30 to 40 percent of those kids back in the 50s and 60s never made it through high school. They went straight into the workforce in low-level jobs. Um, and so that's what the system is set up to do. So even though we were in, in our strategic plan trying to make that system better and we're making that system better, uh, our, our kids are still in the system that basically just ranks and sort. And, and if you don't believe that, think about the GPA issues that we've had recently uh, and how important it is for kids to have a great GPA, uh, so much stress on that. Uh, it's a ranking and sorting system. It's not really a system set up to meet 21st century uh, society needs. And so we were struggling with that uh, and, and bumping our heads all the time on uh, what, what's best, trying to educate kids for the 21st century and provide opportunities for them are working on the tests that had become increasingly uh, more difficult and increasingly more high stress, high stakes. Uh, and so we ended up, and, and we had uh, our own hiccup with the accountability system in 2005 where the results of our SDA2 test weren't at the appropriate level that we had set ourselves, by the way. We uh, set our level of uh, performance. We didn't reach that performance. And then Coppell High School ends up with, an expect, with a rating of unacceptable, the district acceptable, uh, which was so totally uh, wrong in terms of what our performance was overall as a district and even at Coppell High School. And so we had those, uh, we, we appealed that to the agency. Uh, they made that right, uh, but it just showed you uh, the outcry in the community. I think we met with hundreds and hundreds of people over three or four different uh, weeks uh, trying to help them understand that that rating system, that accountability system that we were under, uh, the old tax system, uh, really didn't give a clear picture of what was going on in, uh, in our school district. Uh, and our kids were being successful. And so we finally convinced the community uh, that there, all things weren't going bad and that, that we were still doing a great job. In fact, our results have been trending up ever, ever since the uh, 2003 original strategic plan. So. Uh, but it just became increasingly uh, necessary to spend more and more time on the test uh, to satisfy the people in the community while sometimes leaving behind good decisions that would be better for the success and education of kids for the 21st century. Uh, so in that environment of uh, frustration of superintendents working on the test, uh, but not really moving, uh, transforming a district into one that satisfies the needs of the society. Uh, a group of superintendents were sitting around uh, in the North Texas area and we were discussing an upcoming uh, legislative session and what kinds of bills would be put forth by frustrated legislators who were not educators, uh, frustrated that the system was not turning out the kind of graduates that they uh, felt like that the businesses and the higher uh, education needed. And so they would put forth these bills that were crazy and would even make the system worse. And we'd have to run down there as superintendents and say, no, 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 don't do that. That's, that's going to be bad. Um, and we were just kind of whining, basically, about that process. Uh, 
And then we thought of uh, several of the legislators that we had talked to over the past who had asked us point blank, okay, we get it that you're not for some of these things that we're proposing. So what, it is, what is it that you are for? What would you say that we should do? And we each had our own ideas about that, but as we talked about that, we decided that, you know, they're, they're right. We run down and say we don't like this and we don't like that. But as a group of educators in the state, we felt like maybe we had abdicated our responsibility uh, as being educational leaders and allowed other people, uh, those people being the, the government, those people being, uh, whether that's the state or the federal government, or maybe business folks who had taken over the role of being leaders in education. And we didn't really know collectively what we believed we should be doing in schools to change this system in order to prepare 100% of our kids for a future that was so different from the, the, the world that we all inherited coming out of school. So we committed to do something about that. And we got together over the period from 2006 uh, for about 18 months, uh, about 35 of us across the state, uh, we brought in some of the educational leaders of that time, uh, thought leaders uh, like Milton Chin, uh, Bill Slechty, uh, Doug Reeves, several of the others. We brought somebody in, Ian Jukes from technology. And we allowed those, uh, those n national thought leaders to talk to us about what they felt like we ought to be doing in schools. Uh, and they spent a day, half a day with us. And then we dismissed them and then we wrestled around with uh, did we believe that uh, to be true about the future and if we did believe that what impact would that have on schools and the way schools were organized and we spent about 18 months doing that uh, and at the end of that 18 months we came up with a product a white paper called creating a new vision for public schools in Texas uh, that was written in 2008 I believe you can get a copy on our website uh, it is a 30,000 foot view of, uh, of what we believe education should be like. Uh, during the process between 2006 and 8, I was coming back from those conversations. We were having uh, discussions administratively uh, about the same issues. You know, in Coppell, what's that mean? What could we do here? And uh, teachers that have been here since that time would recognize we were starting to try things, play with things on campuses uh, to help us move from a more traditional uh, system into one that uh, is more student-centric and so we were trying some things and then in our 2009 strategic plan we actually gave every member of the uh, strategic planning committee a copy of the white paper uh, we started with the base and then we built a strategic plan in 2009 uh, that reflected a lot of the values uh, that was were in the white paper originally and so, you know, when you, when you lay our strategic plan of 2009 and the white paper side by side, you see a, a lot of similarities, a, a lot of alignment. And so since that time, we in the district have been trying to um, move forward with some of the things, uh, some of the, the, what we consider to be more 21st century uh, opportunities for kids to be engaged. The, the big buzzwords for us in Coppell became engagement of the learner given learners choice in some of their uh, education, maybe uh, choice in terms of, of, of programs they got into, maybe choice in terms of how they showed teachers they could master uh, different materials. And so we started playing with a lot of that things. New Tech High was, uh, came out of that. Uh, the Town Center STEM Elementary School came out of that. A lot of the other initiatives that you see on campus have come in response to our reading, studying, researching, and trying to figure out how we can get these kids more involved in their education rather than sitting back and listening to a teacher and then regurgitating that on the test. We've tried to move the emphasis to preparing kids for the future and away from just teaching to a test uh, that the state has given us. Uh, since that time, there have been a lot of uh, action, a lot of things going on at the state level, uh, but we are right in the middle of it. In fact, I wouldn't even call it right in the middle of it. We are actually uh, on the point of the spear, basically. People are coming here to see what's going on in Coppell, and I'm really proud of the way the teachers have reacted. It is, it is difficult to leave past practice, especially since when you think we have a whole generation of teachers. In fact, myself, I started teaching at the time of the TABS test. So we have a whole generation of teachers who have done nothing but prepare kids to take tests over time. 
And those, as those tests have become increasingly time-consuming and incre increasingly more high stakes to them, uh, we've gotten to the point it, it's just it's too much. It's too much stress on teachers. I, I feel horrible uh, for teachers who are so worried about tests and what the rankings are and all those things that go with that. And so uh, we are working toward uh, transforming the system uh, based on our strategic plan and its alignment with the creating a new vision for public education in Texas. And it's just real exciting to see and to walk into our campuses and see the great things that are going on for kids in these classrooms where kids are not just listening to teachers, but they're engaged in the content. And when they are engaged in that content, we know that they, they know, they remember that uh, event and that learning very much uh, longer. It's more profound. It's not just surface, memor memorize this, take the test, and then forget it two weeks later. And so we're really exciting about, excited about what's going on here in Coppell. We know we've got a long way to go. It's not something you snap your fingers or use pixie dust. It is just hard work in the classroom helping our great teachers uh, move away from that. I've got to tell all these kids what I know to let me design lessons that cause the kids through the co course of their work to collaboratively together to learn this material and content just better than they would have if I'd have just told it to them. So it's a real exciting journey and I'm really excited to be involved in that in, in Coppell ISD.